Welcome back, this is the Amajack, and today we got Gunslinger West London Suicidal. And, uh, today... I don't know what we're gonna talk about. I, um, I remember when I went to my, uh... One of my old friends. He went to school, uh, just down the road from a, uh, like a large shopping mall. That's sort of near me-ish, kind of. Um, it's, it's like a ways away, it's like a bus ride, and, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a ways away, but definitely, uh, within, you know, an hour to get there kind of thing, and it's not that far away, right? Um, and he went to a, uh, to a school down there once, uh, it was like, uh, just up the road from there, maybe a half hour walk or so, um, so one day we were down shopping at the mall and he's like hey I want to go visit my school say hi to my teacher and I'm like all right let's go and let's go and do this you know let's go visit your teacher say hello and so we uh we left the mall we started walking up up the up the road I'm like I have no idea where we are I'm so lost <laughs> I'm so confused but he knew where we were going and I'm like all right I'll just follow along with you um and uh, we eventually get to the school. I'd, uh, I'd never been to like the area even. I'd never seen the school before, but uh, and he walks in. It's like just after school. The kids are still leaving and stuff, and we just kind of walk on into the school, right on into the classroom that he used to go to to say hi to his teacher. Only one of them, you know. It's not like he only went to that school for the one year. I don't think anyway. Um, but it was only that one teacher that you wanted to say hi to. You know, you always have this this kind of special relationship with, with one of your teachers. You don't always have with all of them, right? Um, there's always that one who you're like, yeah, you know what? That's the teacher that, like, really made a difference for me. That's that's the one that really, like, stood out among the, the crowd as being a, an outstanding role model in, in my life. Um, so we went and we visited his teacher, and it was... We would have been 16, maybe 15 at the time. It was a long time ago. Um, well, yeah, no, it, was, it was a long time ago. 10 years, 11 years kind of thing. Well, 10 years-ish. Nine, 9 or 10 years, yeah. Um, it, was, it was quite a way, quite a while ago. Uh, we went down there and... Uh, we, uh, we visited his teacher... He introduced me, and I was like, hi, and then I didn't say another word for the entire time, because I'm like, I don't know who the heck you are, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, I'm just going to shut up and let you guys <laughs> talk and uh, kind of go over what you've been over over the past few years. Um, but it was like his grade 2 teacher or something, grade 2 or grade 3. Um, and you know, at the time, we're in, mm, that would have been like grade 10 maybe grade 9 even, so it would have been a good 6-ish years after uh, after he'd left that person's classroom. And I remember at the time thinking like, man, how did that teacher even like remember you? It's been so long since uh, since you, you were in their classroom, like, like how do they even remember who you are and like your name and like the courses that you did and, and like the, the like what what kind of student you were and like all this kind of stuff but like they just they just remember you uh nowadays i kind of look back on it, i'm like yeah well it's only like six years that's not really that long in the grand scheme of things you're not really gonna forget your students and that but at the time you know when you're like 16 years old that's like 40 percent of your life and uh you know that's they they still remember it and you don't have that uh the knowledge that like, yeah, six years isn't really that much to somebody who's in their, you know, 50s. <laughs> it's not really a big time gap, you know? It's still, it's still a long time, but it's not as significant, you know? Um, but I remember, I remember thinking like, man, it's crazy that they can remember. And I still do. Because uh, you know, they, they, like, they, they remember all their students. It's just, it's amazing. I mean, you know, a lot of teachers won't because they just don't care, but... You know, a teacher that cares, you're, they're going to remember pretty much all the students that come through their door. You know, I'm, I'm confident that I could go back to uh, 
some of my old classrooms and say hi to some of my old teachers and, and they'd still remember me. I don't have too many teachers, um, but I'm confident that, that the ones that I did have would still would still remember me to a certain extent. Um, now, the issue for me is that would I want to go and introduce myself? Oh, yeah, no, I was, um, you know, dead name. No, not at all. Uh, not at all. Uh, but, you know, it's, uh, it's crazy how they remember that kind of stuff. But I was I was much more mind blown when I was uh, when I was a child, a mere sixteen year old, realizing that this person remembers who they are after like five years. I'm like, dude, that's like so long. How do you still remember them? Like, you know, obviously you're gonna remember your teachers, but like your teacher gonna remember all the students? There's hundreds of them, dude. But they do. My my uh, my friend was definitely a, a remarkable student as well. I don't necessarily mean as in like uh, they were a good student or a you know stellar or whatever. I mean literally they were remarkable. They were remark worthy um, because they had a lot of. Uh... I don't want to get too much into it. It's not my life, but they had a lot of things going on that uh, you know their teacher would have had to kind of work around. Um, not like in a bad way they, they they tried their best and, and did a good job um, but they they would have been a very memorable student for sure um, so it's even weirder that I would have been but like you know when, when you're friends you know you don't really think of those things right you don't really think that like these things are, are, are memorable because to you they're just like normal right like if you got like a, I'm gonna make up an example here just so that uh, maybe you got a friend who, you know, their parents divorced when they were 14, or let's let's make it a little bit more accurate, I guess, to, to the example I'm using here. Uh, you know, they, their parents divorced when they're like, you know, 10, and they had this whole fight, and they had to like start hopping around, and they their grades started to suffer and all that. You know, to you, when you're 16 or 17 or whatever, you're not going to think of that as being a defining thing for, for them when you when you think about them, because it's it's a part of them, you know of it, and you, you feel bad for them, perhaps, but, but it's not like... It doesn't really make up who they are. Whereas for a teacher, kind of does, right? Because they have to kind of be aware of that, make sure they're not, like, making things worse for you, and, and they want to, like do what they can and, and you know later on they're gonna be like oh yeah they're not gonna say oh yeah you're the one whose parents divorced you know but they're gonna remember you because they uh it was a it was a, a you know a divergent experience for them rather than uh just kind of another random student who's just you know performing averagely and, and doing a normal job um and that's not the example that uh is of my friend but you know kind of kind of like that you know just, just things happen, and, and it makes it a lot more memorable. So, it really isn't unusual that they remembered my friend. But at the time, I thought it was the the craziest thing that they could still remember who they were after so long. That's what they do, right? Like that's that's teachers for you. These these teachers who actually like what they do. You know, there's a lot of teachers out there who who just do it for a living. You know, like this is just what I have to to do to put food on the table. You know, I, I got this job uh, 17 years ago, and I uh, don't really have anything else, so we just kind of stick with it. Um, and uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of teachers out there like that, of course, but I was never a good kid in class. Honestly, I, I wish I was, but. Uh, Yes, you know, it's, it's kind of like, uh, there are a lot of things that I wish I did differently, but very few things that I would go back and do differently, you know? Like, um, my biggest regret, which is one that I kind of ponder on quite often, was, uh, when I was 12 years old, my friend, same one, we were walking behind the, uh, we are walking behind the, uh, like, my, uh, a school, an elementary school, and, uh, I asked him if he'd ever felt like he wanted to be a girl, and he was like, no, that's weird, why would you ever think that, and, uh, you know, at the time, 
that was when I was starting to be like, I don't really feel like I kind of like fit in with, with the boys. I don't really feel like this kind of represents me. This isn't really like, like something feels wrong here, you know? And uh, the first time I kind of came out talking about it, I was just shut down immediately. Um, and it's not something that I blame him for necessarily. You know, like I don't blame him for doing that. Like we were kids, right? Like we were children. Um, I don't, I don't blame, like, we were 12 years old, right? Like, I don't, I don't blame him for it. But I do, uh, I do regret feeling like I was kind of pushed away from what I wanted at the time. I, 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 I regret not just kind of sticking with those feelings and, and following through on them. Um, I, uh, you know, I, I, I wish I had committed to it and, and, and properly transitioned at an earlier age and you know, cared for myself earlier on because I would be a much happier person right now, I think. But then, you know, the, the question comes up all the time in, in my head, and I'm like, okay, if I get the opportunity, feeling generous. you know, if, 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 like, you know, God descends and is like, what's worse than a throng of bloodthirsty freaks trying to fend a lot with a pea shooter? Um, you know, if God descends and, uh, ooh, 20. He's like, hey, what up? Wanna go back to when you were 12 years old? You can fix all those mistakes. You can commit to the, the things you wish you did. The answer, you know, you, you, you think, since it's something that I wish I did differently, you think that the answer would just be like, well, yeah, let's do it. Let's go do it differently, because I wish I did, and I have the opportunity to go do it. But I don't know, because then I start to think about it, right? I start to, to ponder, I start to be curious about it and, and, and think like, hey, let's, let's say I go back to when I'm 12 years old, right? I start to, uh, you know, I, um, you gotta kind of come up with a plan for how you're actually going to get your transition going on earlier, which is not going to be easy, by the way, because uh, my parents... Even up until a few years ago, we're not super pro LGBT. Um, even up until like a year ago, they were not super pro LGBT. Even like to today, I don't necessarily feel comfortable being totally me around them, you know? Let alone, you know, 13 years ago, like before gay marriage is even legalized and like before they had all of this uh, exposure to, uh, to, to, to LGBT people, like very very bad situation to be um to be trans in so you know i have to find a way to to transition safely get my medication my parents are not going to be supportive um and you know let, let's say i'm able to 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 find a way to to do it you know i, I convince a doctor or something that i, that I come from the future and, and they for some reason believe me you know like and and uh and they prescribe me my medication and i'm able to to start moving along Let's let's assume that somehow, by the grace of God, I mean, he descended to send me back to when I'm 12. You can, you know, get me hormones, I guess. Um, I'm, I'm, let's, let's pretend that I'm able to get those those hormones. Well, yeah, you, know, you, you kind of think about where does life go from there, because right now I have friends who I who I love dearly, you know, who I, I love so much. These uh, these friends of mine. Over on the uh, mostly on the Raymeter Discord, um, who I'm, uh, I just I, I I couldn't see myself living without, you know, people who I, I care for deeply. Um, and if I go back to when I'm 12, they're not there. I mean, you know, you know, some of them are like barely even walking <laughs> at that point. <laughs> you know what I like? These days they're all adults, but when I was 12, they were like, they 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 only recently learned to walk in the past few years, you know? They're not really capable of uh, being friends. And, uh, you know, say we wait 10 years or whatever and join the Raymeter server. How do I know that there's not some, like, butterfly effect where now that I've I've gone back, these people aren't going to join the Raymeter Discord anymore? Um, and, you know, even if everybody does, um, you know, are they going to be the same? Their experiences won't be the same. Um, no. Um, 
you know, we all have memories that I won't be able to share with them because they won't have been there for it because I'd gone back in time. Um, and it kind of makes me, it kind of makes me sad thinking about it. And I'm like, I don't know, it's just, I, I think, I think I'd be happier if I were to have never known the people who I know, you know? Like, like if I were to have just transitioned back then and never known the happiness that I know now, I think I'd be happier. Um, but to give up what I have, to, to like trade up a little bit, like I just, it, it doesn't, I, I just feel lonely, you know what I mean? So I think about it from time to time, honestly, it's, uh, as I, uh, as I, as I wonder whether I'd, I'd want to go back in time and, and resolve these things. It comes up in conversations all the time too, right? Like people are like, hey, if you could go back in time, what would you change? I'm like, I don't know, like... I have things that I wish I did differently, but... Oh, come on! I have things I wish I did differently, but... How many of them would you actually go back and change? Like, how many of them would you be willing to give up everything you have now for? You know, like, yeah, I get to transition earlier. By the time I'm 25, I'm probably, like, pretty well transitioned. I would have got started early on. The hormones would have really done a good deal of work. Um, and I'd, I'd be a, a very happy very successful mind you i'd be rich um as well you know bitcoin and all that um i'd be a very successful very rich individual but i wouldn't have the same friendships that i have now and i'm like i don't know is it worth it the question's obviously never going to be practically available for me to to actually need to answer but it's, uh, it's still something that comes up all the time right it's a question people love asking People have this uh, this obsession with, with wanting to go back to the past and fix things, and I don't know. I just I have no idea. I have no way of knowing with confidence that it's going to actually be better than it is right now, you know. And uh, to me, things right now are they could be better. You know, a, a year from now, things will be a lot better after I've uh, you know mostly finished my weight loss. It'll probably not even be a year from now, honestly, but. Uh, a little less than a year, um, but you know, once, once I've gotten you know, a sizable chunk of weight off, and I'm like feeling confident, and I'm feeling, you know, I've got my my voice has been fixed, and like you know, maybe laser hair removal's going on, and um, you know, I've I've maybe have like a better source of money. I've moved out. Like like there are a lot of ways that I can improve my life today. A lot of ways that I can improve my my perceived happiness right now, and. Going back in time and, and, and fixing something that I, I, I often regret, things that I kind of wish I could change, or wish that I had changed, it doesn't necessarily bring me happiness now. You know what I mean? So it's a hard question. It's a hard question people ask it to me, because I like answering that sincerely, right? I like answering it. I like I like thinking about it as a, it's a, it's a, nice, it's a nice thought experiment. And I like thinking about it sincerely. I don't really know what my answer would be. Would I go back to when I'm 12 years old to, to fix, you know, all of my regrets? Because I only have two regrets, okay? Only two in my, in my life. I, uh, I have that one, and then with the same friend, I, I pushed them away, like, cut them out of my life. Um, I, was, I was like, I don't want to blame it on being manipulated by, by the people in my life, but because I had mostly... The decision, you know, I, I have to take some responsibility for it, but I, I definitely was manipulated into, into pushing them. You know, everybody in my life was like, hey, they're a bad, uh, you know, everybody in my life, my mother, my friends, you know, my ex-girlfriends, like everybody was just like, hey, you know, they're a bad um, influence on you. They're sabotaging you. They're trying to like steal everything of yours and like, they're not really good for you. You should, you know, distance yourself from them. You know, this is, they're, they're you know, they're... Your girlfriends are breaking up with you because, like, it's just, everything was just bad. You know what I mean? Like, and, um, you know, I, I looking back on it, I, I can recognize that, like, they were definitely the only person in my life who kind of accepted me unequivocally. Um, the only person in my life who truly cared for, for like, me more than, you know, their own, like, perceived view of, of who I could be. 
Um, but I, I listened to everybody else and I, I cut them out. And um, so that's my only other regret. And if I were to go back to when I'm 12, then I'd, I'd be able to, to change when I had uh, not followed through on, on my feelings of uh, you know dysphoria early on. I'd, I'd be able to not push them away when I uh, grew up. I'd be able to not you know, let myself be manipulated by everybody in my life. I'd, I'd be able to, to fix all of that. And, and it would be great. Right? It'd be awesome. It'd be sick. You know, like, no more regrets. But then you kind of add in the possibility of an even bigger regret, which is, like, you went back in time and ruined your life. <laughs> right? Like, like how do you know it's definitely going to be better? You don't. Um, it's just... Uh, like, I guess the, what I'm saying is, the, rather than looking at regrets as things that I wish I could go back and change, I look at them as things that I don't want to repeat. You know? Rather than thinking, man, I wish I could, like, you know, go back in time and, and, and fix that, I, 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 I use it as, like, a learning experience for, for other things that happen in the future. When something happens that's similar to it, I'm able to recognize it and think, no, I need to, I need to follow what I, I believe in here. I need to actually not let myself be manipulated. I need to not let myself be, you know, peer pressured into doing something. I need to not let myself get uh, get scared of of my friends not accepting me. I need to to say and do what I what I feel, rather than than letting it, rather than brooding over my regrets and, and wishing I could change them. I, I like to look at them as as opportunities for experience and and, and learning. Um, but uh, definitely. <laughs> They uh, they do they do haunt me at times, especially pushing my uh, my best friend away back then. Because um, it's like it's a relationship that you're never gonna be able to repair, right? Like for the rest of my life, I'm I'm never gonna get that back. Like we were inseparable, you know. They they'd stay over at my house all the time, and I'd stay over at their house, and it was uh, it was a, it was a fun time. And then uh, I pushed them away. You know, it's almost a decade later now. And uh, I've tried to get back together with them from time to time. It doesn't really work out. And it probably never will, just because, like, we've grown apart now, right? Like, we've had so much time pass without each other in our lives that uh, there isn't really that reliance. There isn't that uh, dependency anymore. So, so that relationship will just never be built back to where it was. And, and that makes me sad at times. But, you know, it was, a, it was a mistake I made. You can't really brood over it. I can't go back and fix it. So rather than that, I just I make sure that uh, I appreciate the friends I've got now, and I don't uh, I don't push them away. I make mistakes all the time, but like I'm I'm never gonna cut them out of my life again. That's not something I'm ever gonna do. No matter how much people tell me that uh, I can't really be manipulated that much anymore either. I don't let people change how I view others. People, you know, when somebody's like, "Hey, you shouldn't like them," I'm like, "No, screw you." I'll make that decision myself. You know. And I learned that from my regret, rather than brooding over it. Um, anyway, that's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe to more in the future, comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.